Summer Roebuck. With the row rut around the corner at the end of July, it's a time of year for balmy days in the sun, stalking, I think, Britain's prettiest deer. You may have seen my combination rifle in action. I showed it off for the first time a few weeks ago. It's a gun that needs confidence and a calm, careful approach to choosing the right safety catch setting. One poor flick of a thumb, and you could be sending an ounce of lead shot at a deer instead of a bullet. You see him at the end of the fence. Go straight down the stock fence. Just to the left of the target. See him? Just his head at the top of the fence. Picked him up? Yeah. Looking at us? Yeah. Out on a buck culling exercise with John Dodd, as well as the extra concentration you need for a combination gun, and that wrong barrel thing keeps nagging you, I fitted a name point sight to it so I can use it on flying birds, which means I want to get close to deer. Walking along woodland tracks, John spots animals in a vast field, which is not ideal. We stalk into a buck that's sitting out in the sun on one side of the field. We spook animals on the other side of the field. We get as close as we can. John is limited on what he can film. Well done. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, but it is that moment now where uh, John's just gone off to go and get a dog, and we're going to have a look in the wood and see how far it went, but it didn't look like it was going to go far. Fingers crossed. The cavalry arrives, and John's GSP boss finds the animal just a few feet yeah. into adjoining woodland. From where he was standing, how far do you reckon he ran? He's probably around 40 metres from yeah, where, you, where he was standing when you fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've taken both shoulders. Yeah, that oh, was brilliant. <laughs> well, there was not much on him anyway. No, nope. good result. So that went down very nice and easily. Although there was a moment where you just don't know, do you? Um, and one of the reasons you just don't know is because it's uh, an aim point sight, so it's it's not like you're looking at it through crosshairs and you have that extraordinary confidence of of, of seeing where the bullet's going to go. But it works just as well. The stalking was fabulous, the long crawl through the grass, the getting to within, I don't know, about 50, 60 metres, something like that, and waiting and waiting for this animal to finally stand up uh, and bang down it goes. We change location for day two and head to the northeast of Caithness. It's another target rich environment with the first animal eating peacefully on the other side of a wall. We use these walls to get close to it, creeping low in a walk my body is these days only barely designed to cope with. John reckons that a gap in the wall just ahead is the best place to be. Well done. Oh, how was that, Charlie? Bloody hell. What a great stalk. Used as I am to standard bolt-action rifles, every day is a learning day with the combi. A 1980s Winchester Supergrade with a 12-bore barrel atop and 243 underneath. This is definitely a, a gun that needs discipline to use. Uh, if you see what you want to shoot, you must make absolutely sure that you've got the right barrel to shoot it with because the wrong barrel could be disastrous. So I've developed this technique of stroking the slider like that uh, and uh, I say slider because that's a that's what people do in local radio when they gossip they stroke the sliders downwards so their producer can't hear and it's exactly the same thing you stroke the safety uh, this way is for the under barrel which means uh, a deer action this way is for the over barrel which is better for squirrels and birds. John drags the animal back to the vehicle and we take to that vehicle to go and look at a block of forestry. On the way, a buck dashes in front of us, spooked by the farmer in his tractor. Go down the track and have a quick look and then see what we see. We follow the animal in and out of gorse and farmer's crops. I give the rifle to John. He hasn't tried a red dot sight on a deer before and I'd like to know what he thinks of it. At last we get it to stop. It can't work out whether we are a threat or a challenge. Well done. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Absolutely magic. There's more shock here than the deer. <laughs> so, would you like to give uh, Aimpoint a ringing endorsement? Quite shocked, to be honest. I'm quite impressed. 
It actually works. Yeah, not really good. Good. Didn't expect it to be honest. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> well, that's an endorsement. To go stalking with John, there's a link below.